I created here what I called the Zoomer video checklist. <laughs> and all of these things, and possibly more if I happen to think of some along the way, are characteristics of the Zoomer content. These are things that are that I've noticed when I went on YouTube and decided to go through some videos and do my research on what the kids my age are looking at these days, which to be honest, not even I know what the kids are looking at these days and I'm in the generation. I don't watch like TikTok or Pinstagram or Tumbling or whatever the heck you guys are looking at these days. I just watch like Markiplier. <laughs> okay, so Shirgi in the future. I'm going to go through this list and as I go through each element of this list, I want you to incorporate each thing into your workflow. So let's start at the top here with, of course, like and subscribe pop-ups. It's not a Gen Z YouTube video without it or even a YouTube video these days <laughs> without it. So make sure you hit like and you hit subscribe and you comment down below and you rate 10 stars and you give me a good review on Google Maps. Next we have random zooms. And this is something that I noticed. So every time I cut to literally anything, I need you to just randomly zoom in or out on the video. Next, we have goofy sound effects, of course. Sound effects are cool and they can be used nicely, especially for like silly like gaming videos. But I feel like there's a bit of a sound effect overload these days. Next, we have quicker smash cuts. We can't have a second of silence between when I speak. We need to smash cut to every single time I'm speaking because if even there is like a tenth of a second of delay in mass speaking, then all the kids are going to click away. So make sure that my voice is being heard at all times. Next we have pictures on the screen. This is kind of a lesser one. Every time I even reference anything, I need you to put a picture up on screen. Next we have screen overlays to fit with the tone. Maybe this one isn't so obvious what it means, but for example, if I'm saying something a little bit sad, I need you to put an overlay of rain on top of my video. If I say something a bit morbid, you can make the video gray, maybe zoom it out a little bit, right? <laughs> Play like a church bell sound effect. If I'm angry, I need you to add a lot of screen shake, make the screen red, make me red. And if something's like happy or glorious, add like a ton of bloom, the sound of like a chorus of a choir. Right, right, right. You know what I'm talking about. Pop up captions on every sentence. This is something that I myself am guilty of a while ago. I don't do it a whole lot anymore, but it's become a lot more egregious and conspicuous as I kept watching through all of the Zoomer content. Every single time I say literally anything, I need you to put a caption on it. I don't care that it's going to take a long time and I'm, I'm going to hate captioning myself and listening to myself over and over in order to get the captions right. I don't care. This is for the Zoomers. This is how we're going to get all of the subscribers and viewers, of course. Next, screen shake for the video. So this kind of goes alongside the random zooms in order to keep the video in interesting to look at even though it's already interesting to look at because it's a video. Maybe not this part because this is just a list that I created in a notepad. Next we have the cliche stock music. You know the kind. The kind of music that everyone hears but nobody knows the names of because nobody actually credits the music for some reason even though you should. Next is very compressed microphone audio. Maybe if you haven't messed with audio, you don't know what this means, but as I say this, I'm going to be adding it to my workflow, of course, so you're going to hear the difference. And then, of course, the very, very famous line, all right, guys. Every single time I do anything, I need to say, all right, guys, to begin with. This is going to be very difficult for me because usually I don't say that or I say like, right, y'all. <laughs> and I promise you, this is going to be the only video where I incorporate all of these things because I couldn't stand to do all of this. I'll just pick a game to play. All right, guys, so I'm going to play the AI Outfit Creator. All right, guys, welcome to AI Outfit Creator, where you type in something and an AI finds an outfit for you. To be honest, I'm not quite sure how this works. I don't know if there's some sort of AI API that they're using in order to create this game to scrape things on their Roblox website or if they view various Roblox items and determine some keywords for it from which they pull a pool of keywords from your input and they use it to determine what kind of items go onto your character or if it's not really AI at all and I'm looking too much into it and I'm giving it 
too much credit. And also none of you care because you're all zoomers. So first I want to try some generic keywords just to see how good it is like in general. Astronaut. Okay, pretty good. I remember back in like 2012, 2013, I used to have this astronaut helmet as like a default in my character. I wore that thing for years. Nice, a little bit more detailed. Okay, getting a little bit farther but it was still kind of on theme. Now let's try teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're keeping Mr. White's face. Detective. Ooh, stylish. All right. Okay, magnifying glass. Good, good. Is that a handgun? Nice. It's not attached to my body. I thought it was like a walkie-talkie. No, there is a walkie-talkie, but it's on my back. Okay, I'm not sure who this is. This is Sean Shoulderbud. I don't know what that has to do with a detective. Oh wait, hold on. This guy just put in the greatest prompt. Small toes, Sigma hunch, back whale with rat baby ugly boy, sussy Sigma Ohio. Sweaty Sigma life, that's Sigma twice. Wait with, that's another with, baby man, a, a lane cheater, ketchup Ohio again. Skip a T, toilet, Sigma for the third time, Ohio again. Level 100, Ohio again, boss. Oh man. Come on, they just want to be friends. I'm too rich for you, you can't even spell the correct two. I guess if you're that rich, you don't need to learn no grammar. Can I just say out loud that if you say HA HA, especially in all caps, in response to someone as a comeback, as if to like be condescending, you've immediately lost the argument in my eyes, okay? Chocolate milk. Oh, that's cute. Okay, you know what? No, this is kind of- hold on, this is kind of awesome when you're all- when you're a big chocolate milk carton. Whoa, this one's kind of epic. I like these cows. What's this called? Chocolate cow confetti? Beautiful. Wait, hold on. This <laughs> this is such an awesome conversation. Ha, huh, look at your dumb outfit. This is me if you care. The real me. You have a dumb name. You look dumber, honey. Your name has like 13 numbers in it. Okay, just mad. I'm the alpha. <laughs> No, wait, hold on. No, I have to put alpha. Alpha male. What is an alpha male? <laughs> it's great to be straight. Straight person. What do the straight people look like? <laughs> no way, bro. Wait, this is kind of awesome. Look at that. <laughs> look at the stretched shirt. Whoa, what am I wearing? Okay, to be honest, this ain't as creepy as I thought it would be. I mean, alright guys, this ain't as creepy as I thought it would be. 